Hi, I'm Adam from Occipital, and today I'm going to take you on a quick how-to guide to use the first two demo apps that have arrived with your structure sensor, what we call Viewer and Scanner. Now, if you're expecting full-fledged apps, you might be a little bit disappointed. These are strictly demo apps meant to show the early capabilities of your device, so you can start using them now. Um, you can expect these apps to get much better in the future, and if you're a developer, uh, sample code for these apps are available in the SDK, so you can use them as a foundation for whatever app you plan to build on the Structure SDK next. So the first thing I'll show you is the Viewer Demo app. This is just a very simple demo app that shows you side by side the Structure Sensor's depth feed as well as the iPad uh, color camera's feed. So I'll start by selecting the Viewer app and instantly I can see these streams side by side. On the top I have the Structure Sensor's depth feed and on the bottom the iPad's color camera feed. In fact, I can cover the iPad's color camera and just see the depth feed. Or I can cover the Structure Sensor and just see the iPad's color camera. So now that you've seen the Viewer Demo app, we'll show you another one, which is the Scanner Demo app. Now, of course, this is built on top of the depth stream that you saw in the Viewer app and does a little bit more. So I'll show you a few quick tips so you can get the most out of this demo app. So the next thing I'm going to show you are two tips that will help you get better quality scans. The first is about the height of your subject, and the second is about accessibility. So to begin with, for height, you can see we have our friend Wayne Dapu here, and he's on a rather low table. So as a result, I'm going to have to dip way low to get every single angle from top to bottom. If he's on a higher surface though, which we'll achieve by adding this box, you can see it's much easier for me to get all of his angles from top to bottom. Now the other thing I mentioned was accessibility. You want to place your subjects in an area where you have 360 degree access. This is because if you're capturing a 3D model, you want to get all of them up. So here, we can capture Winnie the Pooh from the sides, from the back, from the other side, and back around to the front. This transparent box determines what the scanner demo app will capture. It will find a plane and snap itself to it, such as a floor, a table, or even on a wall. So the next thing I'm going to show you is probably one of the most critical controls of the scanner demo app. And this is using the pinch gesture on the iPad to adjust the volume of this box. So this box contains the subject that you're about to scan. And what you want to do is make sure it's just a little bit bigger than that object. So you can see if it's too small, you're not going to actually capture all the objects. If it's too big, you're going to capture too much stuff or nothing at all. So you want to get it just right so that when you start your scan, you're capturing exactly what you want. So one of the best first subjects you can choose to use with the scanner demo app is person. So here we have Phil, our front engineer, who's a volunteer to be scan tonight. Um, so I'll start scanning Phil, and as I go around him, I'll also show you a couple of tips that will help you get a better scan when you do this yourself. So we'll start to capture Phil here, and you'll see that uh, there's a couple holes, and if you just focus a little bit, typically those holes will be uh, filled in as the structure sensor requires more data. You'll also see that the mesh refines itself as you continue to capture uh, more data. You want to make sure that you get the top of the subject's head. Sometimes you'll see a scan completed where there's a little bit of a hole up there. And we've got a pretty good bottle of fill. You can go into x ray mode and see the underlying mesh in pretty good detail. So, on the table in front of me, I've got three objects that we could scan with the scanner demo app, but only one of them is actually suitable for that. So, I'll start by telling you about the two objects that aren't so great for a scanner demo. So, the first is this smaller stuffed animal. It's just a little bit too small to be able to scan effectively, so you'll get poor details, and in fact, 
You may not even get some things like the arm and the ears. The next object is this coffee mug. Um, this presents two problems. First of all, it's a shiny, specular surface, which uh, isn't that great for being scanned with an infrared system like the structure sensor. And second of all, it's relatively uniform, so there's no details on the object for the demo app to track against. So that leads, leads us back to Winnie the Pooh, and he's a great size to scan, he's got lots of details, and he'll come out very, very well. So that's it for today's tutorial. One thing we'd like to tell you is that over time we'll have more demo apps for you to use and try, so we're eager to share those with you. Um, we also want to thank you for being one of the early users of the Structure Sensor. We're excited to continue to improve it and get your feedback. And we're also excited that some of you are developers and you're going to create your own great apps for us and other people to use. Thank you.